Hi, welcome to the module Python for Data Science. In this video, we will talk about three very important topics. First, we are going to talk about standard library. Then, we are going to talk about modules. And at last, we are going to cover packages in Python. But before we start, why do we need to discuss these topics in the first place? Let me tell you why. First, having a knowledge of these topics can help us efficiently use the functions what others have created. This would save us the time of creating our own functions for the already solved problems. Second, having a proper structure helps when we wish to create our own Python packages, for examples like pandas, escalon, etc. But before we start, let us have a look at an example which will help us to have a deeper understanding of standard library and modules. And then we will eventually move on to the formal definitions. Every person has some skills which are either innate or developed over time. For example, I can play good football, I am good with computers, I can dance a bit, and sometimes I can sing too. But I am really bad at plumbing tasks, like fixing kitchen, etc. I am also pretty useless when the matter is of electricity, house cleaning, or financial services. For all these tasks, I prefer using services of others who are good at these tasks. Similar is the concept of standard library. Standard library is a set of skills that Python has by default. Whereas, when it needs to perform some other task which it is not good at, it relies on modules developed by others. I hope this was a good example. Let's get into the formal details of standard library, module, and packages. First topic that we'll be discussing is standard library. A standard library is a collection of code that you get when you install Python into your systems. Some examples of things included in standard library are built-in functions like print, max, min, etc. Built-in constants like false, true, none, etc. Data types native to Python such as int, float, bool, and str. Different file formats that Python supports reading and writing. There are many other types of codes too, like code to handle internet connections, etc. To use these functions, you do not need to import anything. You can use them on the fly. So this was all about standard library. Let's move on to the next topic, that is module. What is a module in Python? Have a look at this example. Do you remember the type of operators that we discussed in the previous video? This is one of those operators called the arithmetic operators. Here what I have done is, these addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, which are the different types of operators for the arithmetic operator, have been given their own separate functions. So, addition operator has become a separate function called addition, similarly for subtraction, multiplication and division. These all functions reside inside a Python file which is called arithmetic.py. So, this file is called a module. Similarly, we can create module for the logical operators too, where the different types of logical operators are the functions and all these functions are included in a file called logical.py, which is again a module. Now, since we know about modules, let's move on to the last topic called packages. Packages are nothing but the collection of modules. It is very similar to the folders we have on our computers. So let's extend the previous example of modules. I can take arithmetic module logical and comparison module and put them in a folder called operator. The operator folder then becomes a package. Now, since you have knowledge about standard library, modules and packages, let's understand with, with the help of an example. Suppose you have two modules, a.py and b.py. a.py is what ships with the standard library and b.py is created by some Python user. You wants to perform a subtraction task, but want to use the subtraction function created by the Python user instead of the standard library. So, how do you solve this problem? This is solved by importing the b.py module and using its subtraction. This way, Python would know that it needs to execute the subtraction function inside the b.py file and not inside the a.py file. Now, since you know why do we need to import modules, let's see how we can actually use a function by importing the module. More or less, we are interested in using the function in different modules. So there are different methods of importing a function. The first is where we directly import the function we are trying to use. Also, an import statement looks like this. 
For example, if you want to use the addition function that resides inside the arithmetic module, and this arithmetic module in turn resides inside the operator package. So, what we can do is we can use the addition function by from operator.arithmetic import addition. So, let me break this down to you. Import is a command that actually lets you import this function and from tells from where this addition function needs to be imported. So, if you want to use the addition function now, we can directly use the addition function and supply in the parameters. The other method to import is by importing the module rather than the specific function. So, for example, we can import the arithmetic module from the operator package. Now, when we want to use the addition function, I can use a dot operator to access this function which resides inside this module. So, addition will be called by arithmetic dot addition supplied by the parameters. So, this is how we can import a module in a Python function. And this is all about standard libraries, modules and packages. Thank you.